I showed this diagram in step one, but here it is again for reference. Okay, so we're going to work on installing the trunk and the trunk wiring. A uh, little trick that I figured out was that you can rotate the rack up to get access to the brake lights. Um, the rack has four mounting bolts, two front mounting bolts on each side, and then two towards the back right there. So if you remove those two in the back, you can rotate the, uh, the, the rack up. Uh, but first, you're gonna to get clearance. You're gonna have to pull the seat up, and then you can rotate the rack up and access the brake light panel and remove that. Two screws to remove the brake light panel. I'd like to show you guys how the Bestem T box trunk attaches. You've got four bolts aiming downward. Uh, that holds the base plate in place that holds it against the rack and You can see the you need to get a pretty precise spacing so that the uh, trunk doesn't bump up against this top bracket And here's what it looks like from the underside so you can see You can see the spacing I've removed the brake light access panel. You can see I've removed it. And now I'm looking down into the brake light wiring. I've already installed several, or actually three, quick connects. Um, I had to disconnect them because I botched the first job. So they're already in there. Uh, and, and I'm going to reuse those. And here's the wiring coming from the trunk, and I have those labeled. Although this wire is blue, it represents the red wire, and it's labeled as such. It is attached to the, the brake light on the dual element splitter, which is the red wire. Um, I'm going to go ahead and install that. And it goes to the green-yellow wire. And as you can see, it's not that easy with one person. In fact, it's not working at all. I've decided not to reuse the old quick connects because they're causing a lot of tr trouble. So I've got some new ones. I'm going to install those instead. I'm going to work on the brake light wire, which is the green yellow, and the red wire coming from the dual element splitter, which is actually blue in this case, but. So the green yellow is in now, and I need this one. Make sure that's seated. There's one. 
Now I'm going to connect the running light, which is the brown wire on the scooter, and also the brown wire on the element splitter, which I've marked as a blue and black wire here. But I have it labeled so I know what it is. It's the brown wire. I have the brown wire in, and this represents the brown wire. I have it on backwards. Got it. And that's the brown. Okay, that's two down. Sorry, I gotta warm up my fingers. It's, it's only 40 degrees out here this morning. Now I'm gonna connect the negative wire, the black wire, to the ground, which is green on the scooter. Got the green in. Got the black. Somehow the negative wire escaped that last quick connect, so I got to redo that one. Actually, the green wire escaped as well. It's really hard to reuse these things. I'll reuse one of the other ones. So that was my last quick connect, so. Now I've damaged the wire. If you can, I don't know if you can see this clearly, but I've damaged the 
the ground wire to the brake light, the green wire, uh, the uh, quick connect missed and clipped it. So what I'm going to do is insert a length of black wire, uh, cut the green wire in, and insert a length of black wire and then quick connect to that. I'll need a pair of wire cutters and a crimping tool. And here's my length of wire. Set that aside. I'm going to go ahead and cut the green ground wire. And I have a butt connector. Actually I need to strip it as well. And that's too short to do that, so I'll have to do it with a pocket knife. Now I know why I'm not an electrician. There we go. Actually, I'm going to strip off a little more just to make sure it's the right length of exposure. There we go. This takes a lot of patience. This is not easy. Get 
get these guys out of the way. See if I can get these butt connectors on now. I'm gonna twist that wire so it goes in straight. There we go. I got it. Now for the other side. Oh, the black wire. Now I know why I'm not an electrician. trying to get away. Put him up there. Make sure this is all lined up. Oh, I don't know if there's enough. There we go. Now to insert the black splice. That worked. Let's go ahead and put this guy on. Sorry about this. Wasn't supposed to be this tedious, but I made a mistake and I clipped that green wire, so. <sighs> Gotta fix the mistake. That should work. 
Now I have the key in the ignition. I'm going to test the brake light and make sure it still works. I had to play back on the camera to actually see it, but yeah, it does work. So we're good with the, the uh, splice in the wiring. So now I'm going to install the last quick connect, which wires the negative wire, the black wire, from the trunk's LED to the green wire inside the scooter on the brake light, which has now been spliced with a black wire. So negative to negative, ground to ground. And I think this one's going to be easy. So much easier with all that room. And it clips into place. Now I'm going to test the running light. Key in the ignition. And it's on. Brake light. And it works as well. Now I'm going to hook up the trunk's LED and we'll do a test. So I've got my labels here. This is ground, which is marked as a blue and positive. I'm going to put the key in the ignition, switch on, and I should get running lights on the LED. And we have lights. I'm testing the brake. This is really subtle. In fact, I don't think the camera will pick this up. But right now it's on the running light. It is lit up. Uh, but when I squeeze the brake lever, I, I barely get any increase in power. It's, it's really subtle. Really subtle. But it's working so I'm going to go ahead and install it. Put the trunk back on. Butterfingers. Why is that not going yet? Oh, there it goes. I'll let that guy hang out for now.